Okay, so uh, you might recall from our opening discussion, the natural a to use is pi over 3, because we know what the sine of pi over 3 is, and that is close to 1. All right, so that's going to be our a, a equals pi over 3. All right, what is f of x here? f of x is the function you're doing, so it's sine of x. So we need to know also f prime of x. That is cosine x. We need to know f of a. That is uh, the sine of pi over 3. So it's square root 3 over 2. We need to know f prime of a. So that's cosine of pi over 3. So it's 1 half. All right, so the linearization of sine at a equals 1 is f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. So that is square root 3 over 2 plus 1 half times x minus pi over 3. All right, so when somebody asks you write the linearization of sine at a equals 1, that's what this equation is. That's the equation. That's find a linearization of sine x at a equals pi over 3. Now, the second part is to estimate the sine of 1. All right, so um, the sine of 1 is approximately equal to L of 1. So that's going to be square root 3 over 2 plus 1 half 1 minus pi over 3. And uh, I already did that on my calculator, and it's, it's about 0.84246. And when I did sine of 1 on my calculator, well, I'm just going to put that on here so we know where things are coming from. So when I use sine of 1 on my calculator, let's adjust this light a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, sine of 1 is 0.8414. So. So in this case, I didn't ask what the error was, but your book's going to. So we say that we're going to say that the error is equal to sine of one minus l of one. So we'll let's see. I think I did. I guess I didn't do l of one on here. Uh, I have to do it now. <laughs> uh, l of one was square root of three over two. Uh, square root of 3 over 2, uh, plus, let's do it like this, we'll do uh, 1 minus pi over 3 over 2. All right, that's that, right? Yeah. So that equals that. I just did that to get that into my calculator because I don't want to use just this rounded number. Um, I prefer when I can to use calculator values because your calculator actually stores many more decimals than it shows you. Um, so this time I got... Uh, 9.55 times 10 to the negative fourth power. So that is uh, 0 0.00095. All right, or we can say we're within one one thousandth. All right, that's approximately one one thousandth. We're within one one thousandth of accuracy. So that's, I mean, that's not bad. It's not 20 decimal places, but it's three decimal places. So it's a start. Okay, so you get homework for this and you get. Uh, page 242, so homework, you get page 242, number 1 through 7 odd, number 11 and number 13, that's chapter 4 in your book. And then also I have attached a Rogowski page, Rogowski page 272, because he has, just has three pretty cool problems in there, number 5, 9, and 10. I try not to get too repetitive with these. These, these are some cool problems. So there you go. That's your homework, and that is linearization.